In this video, I'm going to show you how to take any semi-automatic Nerf Blaster and turn it into an absolute beast. First, our motors. I'm installing two MTB Rhino motors as my flywheel motors. They will provide plenty of power and take all the abuse I throw at them when I run them on a 3S LiPo. Next, our high flow micro switch. Just get something that looks beefy. Our LiPo connector. The most common are Dean's and XT60 connectors. Wire. You won't want to use anything less than 18 AWG wire to fully utilize the LiPo's power. Heat shrink to cover our wires, snips and wire strippers, soldering handy hands, a Dremel, solder and soldering iron, and as always your screwdrivers. Now for this tutorial I will teach you how to mod any semi-automatic flywheel blaster. So you can mod a Raven, Strife, Demolisher, Cam ECS-10, Modular CCS-10, Desolator, Captain Cassian's Andor Blaster, Fearless Fire, Hailfire, The Incisor, Rapid Red, Stockade, Barricade, and the Zeus MXV-1200. So, let's get straight into the tutorial. Start by unscrewing your blaster. I'm keeping all my screws in a magnet tray. Once in, start your deconstruction. I start by pulling apart my trigger assembly. Starting with the rev trigger and main trigger, then removing the locks. Next the dart pusher, cover and locks. By removing everything now, we save time finding the individual locks. When we reassemble, we only put back the essential parts we need for the blaster to function properly. Now rip out the stock wire loom. The only part we're keeping from the loom is the flywheel cage. Disassemble the cage and remove the flywheels. I'm keeping the motor retaining bands for the MTB Rhinos I'm going to be installing. Everything else can be thrown away. Here is our complete loom. This loom works in any semi-auto flywheeler. First take the positive lead from the battery to the NO tab on your switch. After, a wire needs to run from the common of the switch to the positive tabs on the motor. Finally, take a negative wire from the motors back to the LiPo connectors negative. Familiarize yourself with your micro switch. The C tab stands for common, the NC tab means normally closed, and the NO tab stands for normally open. For this guide, we only need to use the C and NO tabs on our micro switch. Next, depending on your connector, distinguish your positive and negative outlets. For the Dean's connector, the horizontal tab is positive and the vertical tab is negative. Let's start by mounting our micro switch. Line up your switch with your rev trigger. You will have to grind away some plastic so the switch cover can fit over our larger switch. Then secure your switch with some hot glue. Let's remove the trigger locks. For the Raven, remove the small nub on the rev switch. Grind it away. Using your snips, snap this plate off your rev switch. Also, remove the nub from the Raven trigger.
Before screwing down the trigger assembly, re-grease all your parts so it's functioned smoothly. Now put your parts back together and screw them back together. Let's work on our motorcade. Our new motors are a little bigger than stock motors. Start by grinding away the nubs inside the casing. Next, flare out the motor shaft hole. Check your fitting with your motors. Once big enough, slide your motors in, making sure the two red dots are at the same positions as mine are. I have a very in-depth motor guide on my channel. Check the card to watch the video. Now, reassemble your cage with your wheels, cage shell, and rubber retaining bands. For our bigger battery to fit, we need to make room in the battery tray. Rip out the battery connectors with some pliers. Do the same with the walls. This saves us cutting up the shell with a Dremel and making a crazy mess. Unfortunately, my battery still does not fit, but you get the idea. Dremel away a hole big enough to fit two wires to run. This is where our LiPo connector will come through. Let's get wiring. Run a lead from your battery tray to the NO tab on your micro switch. Measure up, cut and wire strip the ends. Also cut your heat shrink and slip the two pieces on now. Weave the wire together and drown it in solder. If you're wiring directly to a connector, tin the two connections and reheat to join them together. Slip your heat shrink over and light it up. Let's run our negative wire for our motors now to save time and us wiring back to a connector later. Repeat the same steps as previously done. Now, let's solder on the positive lead to the NO tab on our micro switch. Tin the wire and switch tab. Then reheat the solder once in position. Our final wire comes from the C tab and runs to our motor's positive connectors. Repeat the same steps as done on our last wire. Let's make some motor wires. Measure up two wires for the wires coming from the motors. Strip the middle and two ends of the wire to connect the motors and the wiring coming from our switch. Solder our rev switch wire to the middle tab of our motor wire. Repeat for our negative wire. Make sure you set up your motors with the positive wire in front of the negative wire. Simply solder the wire onto the motor tabs. A tip for Raven owners, remove this nub, it makes taking your Raven apart so much easier in the future. Lastly, check everything is working with some test firing. If so, lock your blaster down and we're all done. So guys, that brings us to the end of the how-to. I hope you learned something and I hope you know how to now take any semi-automatic Nerf blaster and turn it into one of these. Again, there is so much more to do to these blasters. You can change the wheels, the flywheel cage, the pusher. If you want to learn how to do that, check out the playlist at the end of the video or the card in the top corner here. If you want to keep up with me when I'm not making videos, check out my Instagram and Facebook in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.